In the next few minutes, you're going to get a priceless gift, the gift of time. And that is because in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create shipping plans using a file upload. So you can create shipments in bulk and save a lot of time. And trust me, this is going to be a game changer, especially if you have a lot of SKUs to send to Amazon fulfillment centers, or if you create a lot of shipping plans on a monthly basis, for example. It's a very simple and quick process, but enough talk, let's get to it. So from your Amazon Seller Center account, come to the main menu, then select Manage FBA Shipments. From here, you're going to be able to see your current shipments and you just have to go to that top link and go to send to Amazon. This is the new, new-ish Amazon layout for creating shipping plans. And we already have a video here on the channel showing how to create it um, so from selecting from the list of SKUs and not using the um, file upload. So if you're interested in that, I'll make sure to leave that in the description below. But let's get to today's video, which is um, the very first step that you're going to choose. Once you get here, you're going to select this um, option right here, file upload instead of select from a list. Once you do that, the next step is to select the shipping address where you're going to ship this from. So I would advise you that you do this um, process for every single um, origin address, ship from address that you're planning to ship products from. So you can just, if you have the correct address, you just leave it, or you can click this link right here to choose another address from a list of addresses that you have already used or create, um, choose a brand new address by clicking here on add contact. So once you have selected you, it's going to show up here. You're going to select the marketplace destination right here. I'm already on the Amazon seller central United States. So it's going to be by default showing United States and then the fulfillment capability. This is going to be, um, you're going to choose if you want the units that are going to be shipped to be a standard fulfillment by Amazon type of delivery. So they're going to be using prime boxes. They're going to go probably to a specific fulfillment centers where things move much faster because they can just use whatever packaging they have. You can also choose to use blank boxes. And this is going to be especially helpful if you're using Amazon um, multi-channel fulfillment to fulfill orders from other sales channels. So for example, let's say you sell it on Etsy and you want Amazon to ship it, but you don't want to risk it having, you know, a prime box or anything like that. Then you can specifically send this inventory to be blank box and, or it could be a mixture of both. For now, I'm just going to leave standard fulfillment by Amazon. And then the next step is where you're going to generate a download template so that you can fill out all of the information. And then after, after we add everything, we just come back to upload. So first we're going to click this button right here, generate and download template. And just two things to um, pay attention to before you do it is you might want to include the extra columns if you're going to ship case packed um, goods. That means you're going to only have one SKU per box and maybe you want to ship several boxes of that same, you know, template. So for example, if you're shipping 200 units and each box is the same with 50 units of the same SKU, this is going to be a case pack shipment. So you leave this selected if you want that. And if you want to include an extra column for expiration date, if your product required, you want to make sure this is checked as well. In my case, I'm going to check this off and then click on gen generate and download template. Once it's downloaded, you're going to see, you're going to receive an Excel file and you can use the file obviously in Excel, or you can use Google sheets and use it the same way. I'm going to use Google sheets, which is completely free and show you how it works. So once you upload the file to your Google drive, you're going to be able to, um, 
select open with Google Sheets and then you're going to come to this page, which is the instructions page. Um, feel free to go ahead and read it. It's very straightforward. As I said, it's not a complicated process, but I'm going to walk you through it. So there's no questions. Um, so you can go through the first tab here, the instructions. The next tab is the data definitions. And this is helpful because you're going to see what is required. So Amazon Seller Central is only going to be able to process your file if you have all of these required um, fields filled out and it's going to tell you what it's optional and what are the accepted values. So accepted values, it's extremely important. That means that you can only enter any information um, for something, for example, the default prep owner. It needs to be either Amazon or seller. It needs to say exactly like that, depending on the option that you want. You can't put anything else, otherwise they are not gonna be able to process the file and so on. So let's get to actually um, filling out this file and then I'll show you how I toggle back and forth with the data definitions and then the file itself, which is going to be on the third tab. And you can also see that there is a fourth tab and that is going to be a workflow example. So as you can see, um, it's just showing you an example of what information you might wanna use for each one of the columns and rows, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it's done right now. So first you're going to decide who is the default prep owner. And if you don't know what that means, you can always go to data definitions and it's gonna show who is actually going to prepare this package. If you want Amazon to prep this package, let's say there's special um, you know, bubble wrap that it needs or anything like that or labeling, sorry, not labeling, labeling is next. There is special packaging needed, you can choose Amazon. Just bear, uh, keep in mind that they are going to charge you a fee per unit. So in this case, I'm just going to put seller, which is one of the accepted values. Next is the default labeling owner. And that is who is going to be labeling each unit because each unit that you send to Amazon needs to have um, that FNSKU label. So if you want Amazon to do that, you put Amazon, or if you're gonna do that yourself, you're going to put seller. Next, you're going to put here your merchant SKU. So let's just pretend it is, okay. This is your merchant SKU. This is that specific product you're going to be selling. How, how many units do you want to send total of this SKU? So let's say you want to um, send 200 units and who is going to be the prep and who is going to be the labeling owner. As you can see, this is optional and you only need to fill it in if it's going to be different from the default that you have selected on the top. So let's say you're uh, sending five different SKUs and just for one of them, you need Amazon to prep or anything like that. Then you'd have to put here Amazon. But if it's still going to be seller, you don't need to put anything. It's going to obviously revert to the default. And next, if you're going to ship cased packed boxes, just as I mentioned before, this is where you're going to put all of the information. So if you're going to ship 200 units, but let's say it's 50 units per box, then you're going to put 50 here and then the number of boxes, so four. So this, it's not going to automatically calculate for you to make sure you have the math correct. So the number of units per box times the number of boxes need to be equal to this total quantity right here. Next, if you scroll to the side, you're going to have to put the information of each one of, this bo of these boxes. So this is assuming all of the boxes are the same. If they're different, you just do it on the next row. So if all of these four boxes have the same length, width, and height, and weight, then you're going to use the same row. So let's say, for example, it is 20 by 15 by 12 and then 10 pounds. Keep in mind, this is in inches and pounds. If you're doing it, this process for Amazon UK, for example, maybe the default is going to be um, centimeters and kilograms. So you have to pay attention to put in the correct information. So you just have to fill out all of the roles of the SKUs that you want to ship from that specific address that you've already selected. You can do that for the same SKU, you can do that for different SKUs, and you only have to fill out these columns if you're going to ship case back products. If you're not going to, if it's just going to be one box of that SKU, what you can do is input your SKU here, 
then you only have to fill out the quantity column if you're going to do 100 and everything is in just one box you don't have to fill out the next and now just a quick tip of what we implement in our own business that may be helpful to you what I have done is that I actually have a file that looks just like that for my own company and I have it here pre-filled out and this is just an example but I have it pre-filled all of my SKUs and the default box length width and height and weight so I don't have to every single time calculate it or ask my suppliers if you're always sending that same you know package arrangement so if for this SKU it's always 50 units per box and all you have to put is how many boxes you know in the total quantity that you need and it's always the same measurements for the box like this what you can do and what we did is have this sheet ready with all of the SKUs that you sell so all you have to do is literally just copy the row and then go to your Amazon um, file that you're going to upload for that specific shipping plan select and then paste and everything is going to be filled out automatically for you and that can save you even more time so i'll go ahead and include this in the description below just with the example because i've already also added this little table right here just in case you know a lot of suppliers for example if they're located in china they're going to give you measurements in centimeters and kilograms so you can easily change it here you don't have to go to google or anything so if they give you it's like 45 centimeters they're going to give you the output here in inches or if you want to put it in inches and change it to centimeters then you can put it here if you want to use it for the uk or something like that so i'm going to go ahead and include that in the description below so you can have it easily for you but going back to our sheet from amazon after you're done all you have to do is come to either save the file if you're using excel or if you're using google sheets just come to file download and then download as microsoft excel and then we're going to go back to amazon seller central and then click here on this button upload completed file once you click you just have to select the file that you downloaded and Amazon is going to process it and recognize the SKUs that you've mentioned on your shipping plan. So I just did a separate file that I had already created with just one SKU just for this example. And as you can see, it's going to recognize it here. You just have to um, confirm all of the how many boxes, how many units, and if you have the correct SKUs. And if it's lots of them, you just have to go down the list. You might even have to go next to be able to see everything. And then just click this button right here, confirm and continue. Next, you're going to confirm the shipping date of this particular shipment. So I'm just gonna choose maybe the following day. Okay, and as you can see here, Amazon is going to calculate anything that you might owe them before this shipment. So if you put that Amazon is going to prep or label anything, or if you're shipping from a domestic address, Amazon's gonna give you the option of um, purchasing the label from them, like through their partner carrier. They're gonna give you the total right here. And you see, if I don't wanna use Amazon, if I just do my own partner carrier here, for example, DHL, then the total here is going to change. I didn't choose Amazon for any prep or labeling, or if there's no um, estimated shipping fees from this, then the total comes to $0, and all you have to do is accept um, the charges and confirm shipment. Or if you want to use Amazon, you click here, you're gonna see the total show up here, and then click accept charges and confirm shipment. And one more thing I quickly skipped is that you can also choose if you want small parcel delivery, so just loose boxes, or if you want to palletize your boxes. So it's going to give you estimated charges here. This is just two boxes, so I'm definitely doing small parcel delivery. And Amazon's also going to show you if um, you know the destination, if it's going to be split, you're gonna see that it's gonna be multiple destination, one box to each destination. So they're already gonna tell you right here before you even accept charges. So once you're ready, I'm just gonna do this my own, for example, and then accept charges because I'm gonna delete this plan afterwards because I don't need it. So accept charges and confirm shipment. Next you're going to actually be able to name your shipment and get the destination addresses that it, um, each shipment is gonna go to and finally print your label. So shipping name, you can click here and rename it. I like to name it um, based on the product or variation SKU so it's easy to find afterwards. So you can just click rename 
and then type anything here and click save you're going to get the shipment ID and a lot of suppliers ask for the shipment ID once they ship the products. So you can get it right here as well as the ship to address, which you're going to need, for example, to give to your supplier so they can actually get accurate shipping quotes. So last step is going to be to print your box labels that you need to give your supplier. You need to print and attach them yourself for your warehouse and you can select here the format that you want and then finally click print and you just have to download it right here and it's going to download the PDF and you can name your file however you want and then send that PDF file to your supplier. Going back after you're done, you printed everything and when you're ready, you can put proceed to enter tracking details. And right now, if you're not using Amazon um, partner carriers, you're going to have to put tracking details. It's going to be required. You're going to see like a red link notice. To be able to confirm your shipment, you have to put the tracking details and then you're done. You can start a new shipping plan. You can go back to your shipping queue. And if you ever want to delete the shipment, you can void it. You can come right here to this link. So this is it. This is how you use a file upload to create your shipping plans. It might seem like maybe a little bit one too many steps, but trust me, this is going to save you so much time, especially as I said, if you need to create a lot of shipments on a monthly basis, if you have a lot of different SKUs coming from the same supplier. It's just a matter of getting used to the process. And if this video was helpful to you, do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want more tutorials like this, feel free to suggest videos that you might want in the comments below, or if you have any questions, put them in the comments below as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.